Today we're making a Korean style marinade. Let's get started. All right, we got all of our ingredients here ready to go for this Korean style marinade. This goes great with beef, pork tenderloin, and chicken. So first we got our sesame seeds here and we're gonna kind of grind those up a little bit, make it more of a powder. And you see we got our green onions. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take just the white part of those green onions, chop them up, save the rest of that green onion for later. Next we got ourselves some garlic. We're gonna take two cloves of garlic, chop that up as well. And after that garlic, we are going to start putting those ingredients into our food processor. We'll start with those sesame seeds, dump those in. After those sesame seeds, now we'll come back. We're going to add a little bit of sesame oil, about a tablespoon. After that sesame oil, next we're going to throw in some rice vinegar. For this, we're going to add in about a quarter cup. After that rice vinegar, next, throw in some soy sauce. Big container, but we only need three tablespoons. There's that second, and three. All right, and we finish up with that soy sauce. Next ingredient, we're gonna throw in about two tablespoons of dark brown sugar. And now we're gonna throw in those chopped garlic and the white parts of those green onions. And let some fresh ground pepper across the top. And after that pepper, we've got some dried peppers. Now I've put in about five of them here. Now you could, with those dried peppers, you could also crunch them up a little bit before you throw them in the food processor, but Processor should take care of that work for you. But if you want to open them up, take out some seeds, you can do that as well. Add more for more heat, less for less heat. All right, now we got everything mixing together in that food processor. So now we're going to add in about a half a cup of peanut oil, but we're just going to slowly pour that in while it is moving around in that food processor. And this will definitely give it more of that nutty taste to that marinade. Once we have everything poured into that processor, we're going to keep going here for a moment and then we will turn things off. And my friends, we are done making that Korean style marinade. Take it off, find yourself a jar to pour it into. Now my jar is much bigger than I need it here as I pour in that marinade. I'm making this marinade today because I am going to store it overnight and then tomorrow use it and let it marinate some wings for me all day that I'll throw on the smoker tomorrow afternoon. And that, my friends, is our Korean style marinade. Now, save the green parts of those green onions. You can chop those up, put them on top of the wings when they're done.